Okay. Well, that's not ideal. Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. Universal sockets for an impact wrench. A necessary evil these days as impact wrench heads get larger in diameter and more like blunt, squared off. Access is sometimes becoming trickier, which often an extension, universal or both will solve, but I say necessary evil because that comes at a torque loss. But it would appear some are trying to offer new, more heavy duty or smarter designs to make your life easier and save time. Today we bought most of the brands you guys recommended to us in our first roundup video of Universal Impact Sockets, plus a few extra ranging in price from $3.40 a piece to $54 a piece, including another at-bat for Icon from Harbor Freight, who was the only one to snap in half last time, this time buying their half-inch model, plus new stuff from brands like Matco, Tecton, Powerbuilt, plus Japanese Koken, Mac, Cornwell, and we're gonna be seeing how much torque they lose versus just a standard socket, and how durable they are through a standardized series of impact testing. Let's hop in. In order of price, starting with a few new entries to half-inch before Moving on to several 3 8 drive examples, we have the strangest looking set of impact universal sockets I've ever seen from Powerbuilt. It'll be obvious why we have the most thoughts on these compared to those coming up, because pretty much all of these pieces are half your usual universal socket pairing. And yes, you've probably figured it out. The silver part is a retaining sleeve and the base socket can be used on each and every socket size in the set. Spring loaded inside to make what they call their quick change sockets possible. It articulates pretty freely and maybe even a bit loose. We first saw these as a new Cornwell socket set of your link to us, but I feel the main benefit of a design like this is probably cost savings. You don't need to buy that base part of the socket 11 to 16 times just once. Maybe a little bit of space savings as well. And at $285 on a tool truck, maybe that's a cheaper option. But when I found these from Powerbuilt, made from the same Taiwan factory, as it turns out, this did make some sense. Had to try these out. We bought this set for around 50 bucks. Cornwell has a much larger set total, but a similar 15 piece set is also available from Powerbuilt closer to 75 to 80 bucks. Putting these between five and six dollars a piece, they sort of fudge the piece numbers a bit. So with our math, that's per socket size. They include this as a piece, like you could use it alone, but by that reasoning, this is a 20 piece set because you get 10 tops and 10 bottoms of those sockets. Either way, it's cheaper than Icon's half inch set we're testing next, which is almost double the per piece price. So that trade-off seems to be working and that trade-off comes in the form of 25 and a half degrees of articulation as well, we find the lowest we've seen from day one of testing these. The Icon is also not great, 27 degrees. The collars on both are larger than average as well. The power built for obvious usable retention reasons, 33 millimeters and 33.4 millimeters between them. What we're most curious about is what sort of torque loss does a modular looking design like this have? And is this going to return to being two pieces that seemingly wants to be a standard the old fashioned way you know, by blowing up in front of you. What we do here is fairly simple. This impact at a set air pressure in standard impact socket makes 420 foot pounds. When we put a 19 millimeter universal from power belt on here with the air coupler up against the block to replicate the same angle for each one of these, we see what it can do versus that and versus a couple of included examples from last time, this one on screen in black. Three hundred and seven foot pounds. You know what? That did better than I expected. Gear wrench X core remains the lowest so far. This is now second lowest to date, but for a two piece design sort of expected even worse. What we expected to be worse for sure was durability testing on each socket. We use an increasingly tortuous lineup of air and impact wrenches to, well, yeah, try to break them, seize them up, impact on each angle and straight. And to our amazement, this one's not phased. Initially it gave this greasy looking hex ball maybe an 8 out of 10 for wear. 9 out of 10 being the best so far from Snap-on, but upon closer look, cleaned off, this is getting bumped up to 8.5 out of 10. It still looks remarkably good, some smoothing over and flattening on some surfaces at worst. Overall 73% for torque transfer and a subjective 8.5 out of 10 for wear. Sure it might lose more than most, which I would have expected, but better as a design than I figured. Pretty cool. Okay, and on to some simpler designs that don't need as much explanation. Icon half inch up next. For 140 bucks as a set, 1077 a piece. This is the Harbor Freight Icon, this one being 19 millimeter. The 19 millimeter from our 3.8 set met an early demise, so given how many of these have probably been sold out there, we're giving the half inch a go as well. 
so you can see how it does. As mentioned before, 27 degrees of angle as we measured it, which puts it in the bottom two to three out there and a rather large pin retention collar, but let's see how it does in delivering that torque from your impact wrench to the bolt head on screen in white. Three hundred and nine foot pounds. The three eighths version made seventy five percent of a normal, just shallow socket. This one made seventy four percent of a half inch drive shallow socket. Seems to be in line with that, but not topping any charts in this crowd. When we dyno test it straight on, same way, not at an angle though. It only bumps that up to three hundred and seventeen, so it's not just an angle approach thing. More of an overall design matter, we think. Do you notice that sort of thing in real life? Well, here's a bolt tightened by our next brand in testing its durability. And the Harbor Freight can't remove what it had put on while that socket could, which brings us to that durability testing. The Icon through the same amount of timed forward and reverse straight on and at an angle impacting with Milwaukee Gen 3 high torque did pretty well. But the DeWalt DCF 961, we'll take a look. About three hits in and it cracks in half again, something the modular half the price power built had no trouble doing in a total one minute of impacting. Like with the three eights, we didn't find any hardness issues with this. It's again, more about material thickness. The pinhole they need through here is not leaving enough meat surrounding it. It's lifetime warranty, but this would be our third time in the last month visiting the store for this sort of thing. I think it's something they can easily improve on without additional costs or many downsides and hope they do. All right, and Koken. Last time our viewers wanted us to try out Koken, so we sort of just did and didn't know what really showed up in the mail over from Japan because it showed up looking like this, an inverted universal socket thing. The hex socket end is female and the drive end where the tool goes is like a miniature impact extension. It looks strange. Looks like you might find some new or different obstructions with this large collar end at the top here, but then again, maybe avoid some others around the base. This was 54 bucks. Koken doesn't sell these as a set that we found, so it's 50 to 60 bucks a pop for what you need. Not cheap, five times the icon and 10 times the power built, meaning we bought this whole set for the price of one of those, but it does angle over 31 and a half degrees, which is very good. Let's see how this sort of design does. Three hundred and seventy two foot pounds. That's a new record for the category and not a close one. Eighty nine percent in effect pushes all the previous brands we've tested down in the points by making a new spot for Coke and getting a full 10 out of 10 here. Mighty good. However, we do three tests as usual and a straight on run with this first gun on the dyno testing and got to say it didn't make it out unscathed. It's now notchier than the shifter on a Lamborghini Miura that you bought on Facebook Marketplace for five grand and strangely has a lot of Fiero parts under the bonnet. Looking worse for wear and not a lot of test runs in. Here's a new one that we have side by side, clean and straight versus dimpled and grooved on that cross section pin area. Won't articulate into all the directions you'd like it to any longer. This gets a three for durability in our subjective ranking. The Icon got a four, it broke in half, which is much more sketchy, but got through at least half the durability testing first. In torque, it's top dog here with a 10 and points going down from there awarded, which similar placements getting similar scores with the snap on on top for durability. Totaling these scores up, that makes for a continued three-way tie for first, Matco, Astro, and Snap-on, and then surprisingly, Powerbuilt, Koken, Icon, and Gear Wrench. The AP Nano and Powerbuilt here being standouts for price. Not mad at this new quick change design. It's pretty cool, especially when not paying 285 bucks. Okay, now for more new brands, new designs, and lots higher price points with 3 8 universal impact sockets. These have a much higher failure rate for us, for us on screen and in real life, because 3 8 impact wrenches are getting way more powerful than they used to be, like this M18 Gen 2 mid-torque, and only a few brands are taking that into account when it comes to delivering the most torque and, well, also not dying. Up first, we have a brand that we have to assume is doing very little of those two R&D things for no other reason than it's the cheapest set we could find that wasn't skipping sizes on Amazon. This is the Mayoko, which we bought on Amazon for $30.50 as a 10 piece set, $3.45 a piece. The pin retention collar seems to be like swaged on, pressed into place, and it only leans over 27 degrees, 
which like for half inch, that's also not amazing in the 3 8 line. Here's how it does on this stubby impact wrench, which makes 282 foot pounds in a five second test with a standard socket. Five seconds because 3 8 attachments flatline, as you'll see very quickly. Just 192 foot pounds. That's a record low to date in 68%, which is a record across all drive sizes as well. This measured for us at 40 and a half Rockwell C in hardness, which is a bit low, but nothing crazy. So it's not just hardness that's not transferring that torque. We find that hardness is also strangely capable of putting up with air and cordless 3 8 impacts in a category that we normally kill about half of these. Both ends of the spectrum on this one, it's getting a 10 for durability, which is what these get in this 3 8 section if they just pass testing without being broken or overly marred and still articulate fine, which this one does. Really at this price, most people won't know that they're losing that much torque, so they're probably pretty happy with these. Okay, and up next in price today we have Tekton at $135 a set, $11.25 a piece, getting into this tool category with their new pinless universals that have this taller neck in the middle, a little bit taller overall than a similar hex ball pinless design used in the Astro here, but nothing really that crazy. What you do get for this type of design is very good swivel action. They say 30 degrees of operating angle. We measured 32 and a half maxed out like how we measure the rest of these. That's about as good as it gets. And this is how that looks. Two hundred foot pounds coming in under the two hundred and twelve of the icon we tested last time, which was already pretty low. We do several tests as usual and use the median on screen. This got as low as one hundred and ninety one and as high as two hundred and eight. If I had to guess this neck, which does allow for the best angle access we've seen, is also the narrowest and longest, so maybe acting like a little torque limiting stick in a way, losing some of that transmission. To my understanding, it's mainly durability that top brands test for, and not so much torque transfer as we believe we're one of the few ones looking at that. But in durability, the Tekton gets a pass. They didn't phone this one in, especially for a pinless design. That hex seems to really do the trick. This got a 10 out of 10 there. Besides that grease coming out, it still looks almost new. Very nice. And that was the second lowest cost option on the day at $135 a set because we're moving up market today, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Right Tools Impact Universal, $189 for a seven piece set, makes for $27 a piece and looking a bit flipped on its head, again, like the Koken. Right is known for USA made tools and around here they pretty much always do very well. And this was requested in quite a few comments. It's a strange looking one. It looks pinless, but is pinned. They appear to weld the pin in place, then machine it down before coating. It looks very clean. Like often is the case with right availability is usually the hard part. We even had to show the price based on the SAE set because couldn't find metric sets in stock, just individual metric pieces like this one. And here's how this one did. Two hundred and forty five. That's incredibly good. There seems to be some benefit to this sort of design that we can't figure out. It even makes the same sauce when straight on. It just works. It can also take a beating. This one did develop some more metal dust than most really spraying it around. And despite some sort of flattened over spots that can be seen, it still articulates around and isn't frozen up. This one gets a pass as well for durability overall. And the rest of these today are all made in the USA like the last one, but from the tool trucks. We got Mac tools. Cornwell and Macco's new Torque Force. The Mac is a laser welded looking pin design, 470 a set and $48 a piece. It freely moves, but we only measure 24 degrees of swivel from it, which is pretty low. The Cornwell is about the same per piece price, $48 for their shallow universals. This is like a medium or deep length. We don't have a Cornwell dealer that comes by and their website doesn't allow for much direct purchasing, so we'll have to compare its results to a standard deep socket for what we were able to find. It does have nice size markings on that. And the new Mac goes $530 a set or $53 a piece for their new Torque Force Universals. According to the brand, it's designed to both withstand higher torque impacts and, quote, uniformly distributes higher torque to the socket end. Pretty cool, an example of our brand focusing on this sort of torque delivery thing. This is another pinned, welded, then ground or machined down smooth looking surface, and its high-vis markings, as they call it, right out of the packaging are looking a bit worse for wear. 
already scratching off and can do so further with just a fingernail might be a bit superficial, but it's gonna get dinged a little here for that which we think is fair. The color is higher viz than a laser marking, but I think the Cornwall ones are probably the way to go unless you stamp our machine into the socket and color fill it like Milwaukee has been doing lately. Let's see how the tool trucks do Mac up first. Two hundred and thirty two foot pounds. That is very good. This one made it on to durability testing with the M18 mid torque where it saw a fair bit of impact, but eventually didn't so much appreciate that as much as the others did and froze up completely. This isn't just a case where it mushrooms some material inside and prefers to be in certain spots. Now the entire pin broke from the laser welds on one side. You can see it sunken in now there. And on the other side, it broke free from those welds and started pushing the weld bead out from the hole. It's now wedged into place. The whole thing is rather spectacularly fudged up. This gets a four out of 10 for durability. Models that got lower developed issues during our actual dyno runs. And going up against that, we have the Macco Torque Force. Here it is. Two hundred and forty four foot pounds about tracking with the right, which is to say very good and beating even the pinless Maco US we've tested in the past, which made two hundred and thirty seven. So there's something backing up their whole higher torque distribution marketing. And it's also, yeah, a tank. This thing is not phase. seems to be a well made design surpassing the torque transfer and durability with less signs of premature wear on the impacting surfaces than their existing pinless examples, save for those little markings on the outside, along with the snap-on, this seems to be about as good as pinned gets. And that is unless Cornwell has anything to say about it, compared alone on screen versus a deep 19mm, which made 295 on this setup. Yes, different socket masses can affect torque transfer, as we found in the past. Not always a surefire thing, but worth a try to slap on something heavier or deeper in a bind if you need to. The Cornwell here makes 271, which by itself doesn't mean a lot, but that is 92%, placing it just below the snap-on for torque delivery. As apples to apples as we can make it, it is super impressive. And we weren't able to kill it, but it also didn't come away completely unscathed. This series of time testing at random angles developed a preferred slot that this one likes to stick into now. A fair amount of material looks to have splattered off of it and doesn't feel super happy about life anymore. This gets an 8 out of 10. It still works, just not perfectly. Which means, after long last, we can rank these things. This being the second episode on the topic, these have all been added to our live ranking if you want to peruse these on your own. This all totals 11 points for the strange weak and yet somehow still strong $35 Amazon set, 12 points for Tekton, 18 points for Wright, Mac Tools 10 points, Cornwell 17, and Matco 17 and a half due to that half point penalty. Placing all of the 3 8 like the snap on on top, yeah, if you have a spare $744, it appears that still nothing is touching these. Then Wright at 18, very nice. Matco's new Torque Force, and then some 17s in order of price per piece, Astro, Gear Wrench, their pinned ones, and Cornwell. All of these are incredibly good, we feel, all with lifetime warranty as well. Some might be easier to exchange with that warranty if you have a dealer. But also, quite some pricing spread here at the top too. Always nice when things are not just in order of the number of dollars you spend. Appreciate you joining us for this one. We make episodes like these every Friday. Click below to let the algorithm know it. it's consensual, and thanks for watching.